Welcome back, guys, to Series E. I'm Jamerson, joined once again, of course, by Tom, T-Squared, Taylor, and Tom. Let's go ahead and take a look at this new graphic that our production team was able to put up for us. And this is some really cool stuff that we get to really look at now and really dive into and really excited for. I don't know about you, but I love myself some numbers. But these are our top five teams, and these are the stats that we have so far for them. So it looks like Team Zara Tricky right now. Uh, if we take a look at them, they've got 10 kills overall over the last two games. We get, we get to even see the total damage breakdown. You know, a lot of players breaking that 1k mold and uh, getting an average damage of it looks like around 600, 700. I, I mean, there's so many numbers here. I don't know what to do with them, Tom. Yeah, look at Blighty's numbers over there. Rocking that 1500 damage average per game, just blowing everybody out of the water. So if he could keep it up, that's going to be some great pace. But uh, let's go ahead and take a look at basically i love this okay so this is actually the cumulative stats uh for our top five teams right now i believe zara tricky they've been doing an amazing job over the last three weeks and um the the tail of the tape it's right there on the board 25 kills um across 15 games so far for mr hack or i guess 14 games right now uh zara tricky has 23 mercy only also 21 so they are averaging um really plus one so that's great to see 1.79 remember my, the average is right there why am i trying to do the math myself 1.64 1.5 for mercy only so they're they're a squad to really look out for i think for them for zero tricky it's more about converting into the late game we know that they can fight but more often than not we see them biting off more than they can chew they end up getting third partied in the mid and late games and they don't convert for the third uh second and first place finishes as often as these stats would kind of allude to yeah no doubt about it one of the things not featured on here is the uh the amount of rat time e-boy ronnie has spent which has been well in the 20 minute area just for today alone but great job to him for doing that and i love these stats when you go and you look at it but one thing's for sure man sarah tricky's gonna be cocky now someone's gonna have to shut him down after this he's gonna go on twitter probably post a clip of this and show everybody look at this guys now he's gonna try to post some more triple take clips like he did yesterday so look out if you're if you're going against sarah tricky now the kid's gonna get cocky yeah taking a look at the stats that we've had 30 kills total for Haculo just leading the pack and you can see again there's a reason why they have so many points it's a lot of kill points that are on the board I, th I think they had what 137 and 147 points overall well just look at how many points they have just off kills alone they're aggressive they're really good at skirmishing sometimes they'll go out in you know 11th place and only get what one placement point for that but they'll at least have maybe two squad wipes so they get seven seven points overall and when you go and do the math when you play in these type of tournaments or just any type of tournament in general the least amount of points that you want to average is six points per game going in so if you can go and kind of average around that you're going to be at least in that top 10 area now we're talking about not only getting top 10 you have to get top five in the overall placings if you don't get top five you have to win just like we saw flowrider do and we saw the graphic get updated live right there flowrider wasn't north near the top like some of these other teams they had to stay up their ticket a different way which is so exciting for them and i can't imagine what their thought process was during that last team fight i wonder if they knew the math on if zara tricky won that fight that they would go in advance